welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jasmine and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be continuing my series and I'm going to be going over basic four and figure skating with you guys. So the skills that you have to have mastered to pass basic four and figure skating are forward outside edges on a circle, right and left, forward inside edges on a circle, right and left, forward crossovers, clockwise and counterclockwise, Backward half swizzle pumps on a circle, clockwise and counterclockwise. Backward one foot glides, right and left. Beginning two foot spin, up to two revolutions. And if you guys want to go the extra mile to make sure that you 100% pass basic four in figure skating, you could do the bonus skill, which are four lunges on both of your legs. I know that all of these terms sound confusing, but don't worry because I'm going to be going over all these step by step with you guys and teaching you guys how to do all of this so that by the end of this video you will be able to pass basic four and figure skating. So without further ado, let's get started. To do a forward outside edge on a circle, you're going to find yourself a circle. You can either do this on one of the big circles that they have, or you can do this on one of the curling circles that they have. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a couple of steps or pushes forward, and you're going to lift up the leg that is on the outside of this circle to the outside of your leg. And you're going to remain on your standing leg on an outside edge so that you glide around the outside of the circle. Then you're going to repeat this on the other leg. You want to make sure to keep your arms out straight to the side so that you keep your balance and you also want to keep your posture nice and straight so that you don't fall over. To do a forward one foot glide on an inside edge, you have to find yourself a circle, either the big circle or the small curling circles. Then you're going to choose the leg that you're going to do the first time. It doesn't matter because you have to repeat this on both sides. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a couple of steps or pushes forward. Then you're going to pick one of your legs to bring up. You have to bring up the leg that is on the inside of the circle. And then you're going to glide on an inside edge on your gliding leg so that you are tracing the outline of the circle that you're gliding on. You want to make sure to keep your posture straight and your arms out to the side so that you keep your balance. And you also want to make sure that you repeat it on both sides. Oh, 
To do forward crossovers on a circle, you're going to find yourself a circle to do it on. I would recommend using the bigger circle for crossovers, not the smaller one, because it makes it easier to do that. What you're going to do is take a couple of pushes or steps forward until you have enough speed to do your crossovers. What you're going to do is you're going to take the leg that is on the outside of the circle and you're going to cross that over the leg that's on the inside of the circle. Then you're going to take the leg that's on the inside of the circle and push it through under the leg that was on the outside so that you get a cross looking thing with your leg. And then you're going to repeat this a couple more times. Then you're going to try your best to lean over onto a circle so that you create an edge so that you can follow the outline of the circle. But you don't want to lean over too far. You want to keep your back nice and straight and your arms out to the side so that you don't fall over. And you want to repeat this on both of your legs. To do backward swizzle pumps, you're going to find yourself a circle. I recommend using the big circle for these as well as for the four crossovers. So what you're going to do is you're going to start off by taking a couple of steps or glides going backwards around the circle. Then what you're going to do is you're going to push the leg that is outside of the circle, not the one that you are gliding on the outline of the circle, the other one, you're going to push it out to the side and then bring it back in. Doing this, you will get some speed and you will move backwards easily. You want to make sure to keep your back up nice and straight and your arms out to the side so that you can keep your balance and that you don't fall over. You want to repeat this both clockwise and counterclockwise, which means to do both your right and left leg. To do a backward one foot glide, you're going to start standing backward on a straight line in the ring. Then you're going to take a couple of steps or pushes backward until you feel you have enough speed to glide across the ice. What you're going to do is you're going to choose the leg that you want to stand on and lift the other leg up to a 90 degree angle, almost like you're making a four, so that you're top leg is parallel to the ice and that your bottom leg is coming into your knee. 
You're going to glide like this across the ice. You want to make sure to keep your posture nice and straight, your back up, your arms out to the side so that you can keep your balance so that you don't fall over. You also want to make sure that you repeat this on both legs. To do a beginning two foot spin, you're going to start by just standing on the ice normally. Then you're going to swing your arms to either your left or right side. It depends to which side you're going to be spinning. Then you're going to swing them over to the other side and you're going to like crank them as far back as you can so you can get the most power into your spin as possible and then you're going to Pull them back in as fast as possible, and you should start spinning. You want to try and do at least two rotations or more if you can. You want to try and stay tight because that is how you're going to be able to spin faster. Once you have your rotations, you're going to pull out. You don't have to come out in a perfect checkout position. You just have to come out the best as you can. To do a lunge, you're going to start off by taking a couple of steps forward or glides until you have enough speed to go in a straight line. Then you're going to bend your front leg to a 90 degree angle or more if you can, but don't go too low. Then you're going to drag one of your legs that you are not bending or gliding on behind you so that when you lift up your leg, there should be snow on the inside of your boot and then you want to keep your arms out to the side so that you keep your balance and that you don't fall over and you also want to keep your back straight and you don't want to lean over onto your leg. This is the end of the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed and that it helped you guys learn how to do basic four and figure skating. I want you guys to comment down below have you, are you guys working on basic four or have you guys already passed basic four and figure skating? Also, if you guys want to go check out my last three videos that I did on basic one, basic two, and basic three, all those videos will be linked down below in the description box. Anyways, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notification. I love you guys. Bye!